what's going on, watchers? Got a nice little cool unboxing slash review for you guys today. As you guys know, in the title it said VFC MMP Compact. This is the gas blowback version. It was purchased from Airsoft GI. I believe it was $135. Um, excludes no coupon codes, nothing like that. So let's get right into it. What you see here, simple box, nothing crazy. Um, warning sides in the back, nothing too crazy about that. Going over to the front, let's get right back into this bad boy. Okay, as you see, we open it up. Um, simple instructions tells you how to take it apart, clean it, install the sights that it comes with, all that good stuff. Um, this this I did not say this, but this is a semi-auto pistol along with a full auto feature. You can go ahead and adjust your back straps, all that good stuff. It comes with three extra back straps. So going into the gun, as you get into the box, first look at it. Externals are amazing. This thing is badass. Has full trades, has that good stuff. Like I said, it comes with adjustable back straps. Comes with three of them, two that are there on the outside of the box, and one that's on the gun itself. They come with a medium, a large, and extra large back strap. Simple to take off. I'll show you in, in the video now. So going along, you know, what else comes in the box? You get your sights. You got to adjust them. And it comes with a serial number plate. I'll show you that later on in the video as we move along. All right, so taking the gun out of the box, like I said, the externals on this are bad. Full trades, they did not hold back on this one. Cybergun did a good job for getting the license with these guys. And VFC, like always, they make great stuff. Going into the, going into the gun. You got your 15 round magazine. This magazine is tiny. Shouldn't be, you're not going to lose it or anything like that, but it is small compared to my 45 and all that good stuff. Simple spring. It does hold, like I said, 15 rounds. Go ahead and pull the spring back. The only thing about the flaw about this mag, it does not like lock back like my KDWAs or I've seen some 1911s that they do and they lock back all the way to the bottom. All that good stuff. It does have the adjustable grip. On the, not Sorry, not adjustable grip, but the little hand. I guess, I forgot what they call it, a pistol grip, for the mag, mag grip, there we go. It's just great all around. The full trades, like I said, M&P, Smith & Wesson, very nice, super, super nice. I was very stoked on the externals on this build. I just couldn't believe a uh, airsoft pistol like this can have full trades, but it works out for me. I don't have, we went ahead, it did come with an orange tip, we removed it. Like I said, if it's perfect in my hand, I have small hands. I was looking for something with like a small, compact, you know. My 45 is just really big. So I went ahead. It's just great. It has, it's well balanced. You know, Like I said, the externals are bad. This is a gas blowback version for any of you that don't know. Slide fully cocks back. It has a metal outer barrel. The trigger is a uh, two-stage. Oh, like I said, this does even say a 9mm on top of the barrel. You don't see that too often in airsoft pistols. Very, very nice. I'm in love with it. It's really nice. Going along. This, like I said, does have adjustable back straps. This one is the small one that is installed at the moment. This little tool at the bottom is super easy. This is not a, very hard to take off or nothing like that. You go ahead and you're going to spin it. Uh, clockwise till you get it to the halfway position and just go ahead and pull down and there you go so going along you go ahead and pull it down be careful because there's a little tab don't try not to break it just go ahead and pull it out it's not gonna be hard at all and this one is the large one let's go ahead and install it see how it looks I don't like the large like I said I have small hands it fits in my palm better with a small one I don't that's just comfort to eat Tweed your zone. It's all right. So we're gonna go ahead. I don't know, we'll go ahead. And put back the small one on. Like I said, it does come with a medium, la medium large and extra large, or small medium large, I believe. <clears throat> Just to reinstall it, go ahead and put the tool in. Make sure you put the. There's a little tab here, as you can see. Make sure you go ahead and put that straight through the way, the correct way, and go ahead and. Turn it counterclockwise, and she's locked up, back and ready to go. Go ahead and put your mag in, fill it up with BBs, gas, whatever you got to do, and cock it back, slide forward, and you're ready to go. All right, simple breakdown. 
Nothing too crazy. Let's go into the internals of the gun. Um, release you take out your mag. Make sure that's always out. There's a little notch. This is similar to the KWA 22 uh 22 P226 229 6 hour if you guys are familiar with that. Just make sure that is aligned up with a little notch there. Pull that lever down. Make sure you pull the trigger back and pull the slide forward and it should be released. Boom, there she goes. The internals are decent. VFC, this is, to me, this is my first VFC gun that I've ever seen them make. And all I can say, nothing but good things right now. From looks-wise, it's really nice. Nothing too crazy about it, but it looks decent. Slide, upper slide, is has some nice, decent weight to it. Um, it's well-balanced. Um, like I said, this is a full auto and semi-auto pistol. Just got to see that little notch right there. You basically lift that notch up. Up to the up position and you very right, right there you're shooting full auto and let me tell you it's pretty badass it's super simple going back to semi just go ahead and push it back down and there you go this is a steel spring guide that's always a plus when all these mechanical moving parts just go ahead we're gonna go to attack the outer barrel along with the inner barrel nothing too crazy basically all this, if you've done this before you basically know <clears throat> The simple procedure of getting this apart. Like I said, this thing is a compact, so everything is tiny. This outer barrel is super, super tiny. I don't think you're going to tag people at 50 yards, 60 yards with this thing. But it is a pistol basically for course quarters or for those oh shit scenarios. Um, Hop-up adjustment is a little dial wheel. I believe forward is for hop and backwards is for... Uh, no, less hop so putting it back together just go ahead and put your inner barrel inside your outer barrel put the outer barrel inside the slide spring guide make sure the that black part is in the front of the receiver and just go ahead and put it back in shouldn't be too hard you might have to do it a couple times just make sure it's in the right position or the slide will not go back onto the lower Okay, just go ahead and you're going to do the same thing. Basically, make sure that lever's down. Pull the slide back all the way back. Put your put the lever back into position with that notch. Might be a little tricky for you guys if you guys never done it before. And boom, there she goes. No pulling the trigger back. You, don't, you only have to do that for pulling it off. And there you go. There you have it. All right, what I'm showing you guys is basically a size comparison, maybe like a Quality comparison, you know, on the plastics. This is a WE MMP uh, 9 full size version versus our 9, MMP 9C, you know, the compact. As you can see, ours blows this one out of the water, even though that one does have a stipple job. But the quality in the plastic, and mind you, this one has full trades. You don't see that very often in pistols. Full trades, full licensing. This thing is bad. Going into a closer look. As you can see, the detail is there, guys. The VFC did a great job on this. As you can see there, that's the little serial plate that did not does not come installed. I installed it. Just check out the quality, man. You know, this they did a great, great job. I just I was amazed on the externals on this gun. I didn't think it was going to be as good as this, but this is very, very nice. Great quality, great stuff. Good job, VFC. We give you a thumbs up for that one. All right, we went ahead and installed the sights. Do they do not come pre-installed? It's basically a white cylinder. You gotta go ahead and insert it into the sights, and they look really nice with them. Too bad they're not night sights, but should have to do. All right, moving along. This is the magazine. It's a double stacked version. Like I said, it holds 15 rounds. We got it all loaded up with gas and ready to go. Let's move on to the chrono. <laughs> this is full auto. Full auto failure. Full auto failure. Oh shit, shoot. No more gas. No more gas. Guess this gun, guys, is MMP. It's, uh, it's not gas efficient on full auto. <laughs> 